good day. It's Dr. Daniel Cameron. I'm here with another All Things Lyme blog. Have you ever been asked the question, what are the chances Lyme disease can last for years after treatment? Well, the title of today's blog will address that issue. Sick for years with post-treatment Lyme disease syndrome, PTLDS. Authors at New York Medical College, Weitzner, Vicentainer, and Wormser describe Lyme disease patients 11 to 20 years after diagnosis. Now these are patients who are culture confirmed early Lyme disease cases. Now we're all aware that neurologic complications of Lyme disease can last for years. Fallon in the Columbia trial reported Lyme encephalopathy patients were sick an average of nine years. Legigian in 1990 reported that people had chronic neurologic Lyme disease up to 14 years. Post-treatment Lyme disease syndrome was defined in the Infectious Diseases Society of America, IDSA treatment guidelines. It was defined as symptoms developed at the time of presentation or were intensified over the subject's pre-Lyme disease symptoms or within six months of diagnosis and they lasted for six months or greater following completion of antibiotic therapy. Now, PTLDS was common after a three-week course of doxycycline for an EM rash in a previous trial. Alcott and authors at Johns Hopkins reported that there was post-treatment Lyme disease syndrome symptomatology that impacted the life functioning in the journal Quality of Life Research. In that article, 36% suffered from PTL DS within six months. At six months, 36% of the patients reported new onset fatigue, 20% had widespread pain, and 45% had neurocognitive difficulties. The authors also stated that patients who developed PTLDS had significantly lower life functioning compared to those without PTLDS. Now, PTLDS was common a decade after early treatment in the paper I'm addressing today. The authors, again, were Weissner, Wissentainer, and Wormser from New York Medical College. And in that article, 71 men were treated within 7.09 days. Their average age and entry is 44 years. 57 women were treated within 5.28 days with a mean age of 47. And 11% suffered from PTLDS more than a decade after their early treatment. Now, the problem with the Weissner PTLDS study was, one, there was no evidence that individuals were offered retreatment. There was no evidence that there was an evaluation for co-infection. There was also an unexplained high incidence of intercurrent comorbidity. For example, 66.2% of the women and 73.7% of the men had intercurrent comorbidity during the next 10 years, and there was a high incidence of intercurrent hospitalization. More than 50% of the women and more than 40% of the men had intercurrent hospitalization. There's two unanswered questions from this study. Could intercurrent comorbidity and hospitalization be related to complications of Lyme disease? And could the PTLDS or the intercurrent comorbidity and hospitalization after 10 years be related to persistent infection or co-infection. Thank you for joining us today on Dr. Cameron's All Things Lyme Facebook and blog to address this all-important question, can your patient be sick for more than 10 years after an antibiotic course of therapy?